Welcome to my um, basic uh, 3ds Max tutorial. This tutorial is based on the interface and today I'll be teaching you how to uh, navigate yourself around it and how to modify it. Okay, these here are viewports. This one here, this one here, this one here. Um, how I just selected these user ports, I actually pressed in the middle mouse button which is the little ball you'll have in the middle of your mouse. So you just click it in and this selects the viewport. Now to pan in the viewport you hold in your middle mouse button and move it side to side up and down. This will help you get a good perspective on the object you're creating. Um, the next thing you can do with your middle mouse button is roll it backwards and roll it forwards. This will help you zoom in and out. Now if you hold control and R you can now rotate around this viewport. This is the perspective. This is the perspective viewport, and this viewport is probably the most popular viewport people use. It has the best angle on the uh, viewports, and this is the next viewport. This is the front viewport. So if you're making a car, uh, the blueprint would be of the front of the car would be here basically the lights, the grill, you'd see the lights and the grill on the blueprint. This is the top view, so you'd see this this view will be looking down as if you were a bird, bird's eye view. This is the left view. It's basically this is the side view. And you just roll in and roll out of that. If you notice these viewports have got squares in, this is the grid press G to get rid of this it can help you centre your objects but it's G to get rid of the uh, grid itself I'm now going to put a primitive into the um, viewport I'm going to do it in the top viewport so now I click on box I drag in a box then I let go then I lift then I push my mouse towards my PC screen, so forwards, and this will make the box go in the linear direction, upwards, you can have it going downwards, and get it, have it going upwards, and what you do, you click, if you're happy with that, what you can do now is, if you go up to here, select to move, you now get these little crosshairs here, move it sidewards, left and right, this is the X I'm using, I'm clicking on the X and if I click on the Y, see the Y goes yellow which can go up and down now this helps you move in the objects um, in the scene as you can see I'm in the top viewport so this is moving the box side to side in the perspective and I'm just going to roll my mouse backwards so I can zoom out then I'm going to click the mouse, middle mouse button in the top viewport just so I can get back into this viewport. And if you don't like to if you don't like the way the viewport's looking, you can actually change these. So if you just scroll onto the middle of the viewports where they both meet, you can actually drag across and make the other viewports bigger. Or you can just drag it back. Or you can do all of them at once. There. 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 Now, if you right click there on your viewport where perspective is, you can go down to configure, go down to layout, and if you want just one window up, you can have that. If you want two, you can have that. There's loads of different options. So I'm going to click this for now. Now, look, you've got the top viewport and you've got your front. I just click the middle mouse button. You see I've just got these two viewports, I can switch it in and out of them very quickly. Now if I click on smooth highlights, you can now see the uh, primitive, the box, same in this one. They both change individually, they're both independent viewports. So now I'm going to right click on this, go to views, go back into perspective. 
Now if I want to get a better angle on this, I'll click Control and R for rotate. And this keeps clicking and dragging to get a nice angle on the box. And this is just learning your uh, basic ways of manoeuvring in 3ds Max. Now if you want to just see one whole window, you, all you need to do is click Alt and W. So you just hold it, hold down Alt, press W and you've, now you've got the whole viewport to yourself. Now click, uh, hold down Control and hold down R and let go. And now you've got the rotate back up. So now you can look around your object. See, look underneath it, we spin this all around. If you ever make a mistake, so say I've moved here and I'm like, oh, I want to go back. You hold down Control and Z, you can switch, switch this around. There, you can go back, it's basically an undo button. Control and Z. Now I'm going to spin back around to here. Now if you want to add another object, that's fine. So you're in Create. Modify is if you want to modify whatever object you've created. For example, this one. But I'm just going to quickly go back into Create, which is here. And we'll let Insert a Sphere. That big. And we'll go to Select and Move, which is up here. And we'll hover over the Z. And I'm going to click and drag up to move this up. And I'm going to press Alt and W. So now I've got a side view of this. I'm going to press G to get rid of the grid. Pull it back on. I'll leave it back on actually. And then I'm going to bring it down there, level with this one. Now I'm just going to go through a few, a few options in 3ds Max just to help us um, with the user inter interface. I'm going to go to this one, select object, if you uh, drag and click and let go, this will select an object, if you want to select uh, multiple objects, you will drag and click over both of these and that, now you have both, now if you click, select and move you can move both of these at the same time just to help you with uh, animating and other, other uh, tasks you might have to do now if you want to make this bigger without going into modify you can, you can go to scale so what you do here is click and hold and go to select go to this one here, this little box within a box now what you do is you scroll into the middle and click and then push out outwards while holding while clicking in and now you're making the object bigger and then let go when you're happy with the size you've got have a little one. Back to select and move. Okay, now if you want to get rid of this sphere we just created, you just go over to your key, key uh, your keypad and then press delete and it goes. Now, next, I'm going to show you modifiers. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the object itself, go to modify modify list now what will I show you? I'll show you the mesh move now I'll click the mesh move the box it's totally it's got no support lines in it or anything so what happens is the box just crushes in it's supposed to be smooth but it just crushes in so what you can do, if you want to make it smoother, you can go over to iterations, iterations, sorry, and then bring this value up and bring it up again and bring it up again. I won't bring it up too much because uh, it can affect your performance on your on the on your PC, on your render. And there we go. We got a nice, a nice smooth pebble looking thing. Now I'm going to go to. Well, I'm going to right click, and if you want it to stay like that, you can go to collapse all and go to yes 
this basically sets it as um, a whole object now and you can add more modifiers to it if you want now if you want to make multiple objects um, hover over any of these axes here the y, z or the x and then we'll go, we'll go in the x and then you hold shift and click and then drag it out and now we have two objects you can rename it, you can call it whatever you want I'll call it level 2 and if we do it as a copy, it will be a sep it'll be separate from this object here, the original. If we do it as an instance, whatever I change on this, this one will also um, apply those changes to. So it will always be the same as this object, no matter what I do to it. There we go. Now we've got two. I'll just show you what I, was, I meant when I said um, instance. Go to faces, and then I'll go to vertex. You see, they're both moving together. And this is this is basically the first little touch of modifying I'm showing you. That's a modifying object. Oh, that looks naughty. Um, okay. That's my first tutorial. I'm going to do another one next just to show you how to set up blueprints and uh, also how to modify more objects. Okay, thanks for watching, and the next tutorial will be on soon. Thank you.